Hey everybody, welcome to another Plum Crazy Adventure. Uh, we are doing something completely new for our channel and I do apologize for the thunder that you're hearing in the background. We're trying to get our outsource dust, outdoor stuff done fast because yes. We might get drenched later. Yeah, uh, it, it's turning really dark over that way. So we're, hopefully we'll get all this taken care of before that hits. But so, hey, where are we, Megan? We are at Port Canaveral. Yeah. Woohoo! I tell you what, this place is so amazing. It's so easy to get around. Uh, yeah. The signage and everything, it, it's very easy as long as you're paying attention. And what do you know exactly where you're supposed to go, what um, cruise ship you're getting on. That, that also helps. You yeah, know, that would be helpful. You know, you got to know which one you're getting on and then exactly where to go and where to go park it is so simple there's signage on the along the roads on the roadway itself pointing you in the right direction to get yourself right to the right cruise port terminal wow, yes boy, i'm amazed i said that all right i am so <laughs> impressed that you got all that out so uh for this video we are actually going to be taking you around um we are parked currently we're going to show you some restaurants that are right here in the terminal area and we're also going to drive around, show you uh, the different uh, cruise port terminals, where those are located, and um, we won't be going into any of them, obviously, today, uh, but we wanted to be able to show you, uh, give you a good idea of the lay of the land, yeah. because that is one of the number one questions, and uh, definitely one of ours, too. So yeah. we're and all gonna learn together. It's very, very easy. To, like I said, it's very easy to get in here. Uh, you come off of 528 out of Orlando, right across from the airport right in here it just dumps you literally right into the port itself yeah uh, it's very so if simple. you're driving for whatever reason this is yeah. super easy yeah. and if you got a park and stuff it's so easy to get into the garages i mean i can't stress how easy it is to do if i can do it you can do it so we have found the exploration tower now as soon as you drive in you see this really unique building and you're just like, okay, what the heck is that? Now, it's temporarily closed, which makes me really sad because I would love to go up in there, get a bird's eye view of the cruise port. But at least we get to walk around it and check it out. So right across the way is the Rising Tide Bar and Grill is what I'm assuming. Uh, there's also another grill over by the Sunrise Marina and a few other restaurants here. So I really like that there's some options. Maybe you have a super late flight and you want to go off the ship, explore a little bit, get something nice to eat, and then head on over to the airport. So this is a nice, nice little area to be able to do that. Totally. Uh, there's five different restaurants right in this small section right here, and uh, every one of them is supposedly has some really good seafood, so i More seafood buffs. Kind of get in the mood to go get some seafood. Yeah, we might have to. Let's walk around a little bit more, though. I want to see what we can see, just in case we end up not being able to uh, do this later. So something that's really interesting this is FPL Solar Now, and basically they are little solar trees that are put up uh, throughout different communities, and you can plug into them if you need to, if you wanted to charge your phone or something, but whatever energy is stored uh, goes back into the grid to help the community out. So I think this is a really cute idea. I mean, obviously, generally speaking, we have a lot of sun down here in Central Florida, so really great concept and I like that they do that. Check it out. We've got the Norwegian getaway over there. Disney Fantasy is right behind her. And then off to the right, right there, that is the Mariner of the Seas. So super excited. These three ships are over here in Terminal 1. They are currently boarding right now, and uh, within the next couple of hours, we will probably be able to see them take off, provided that the weather cooperates with us, and cannot wait for that. Oh my goodness, check out all of the pelicans. Aren't they amazing? Nobody ever tells you how big these birds really are until you see them in person. 
did you know that you can actually go deep sea fishing right here from Port Canaveral? I didn't until today. So definitely check, check out the Princess Fishing Fleet if that's something that you're interested in doing. Something else I think is really cool is they do have some Port Canaveral historic milestones that are listed here. Environment and Recreation, Jetty Park opening in 1968, all the way down to the Manatee Protection System installed at the lock in 1999. So lots of really great things here. And right next to the Princess Fishing Fleet, if you're thinking about going deep sea fishing, is Rusty's Seafood Bar, Seafood and Oyster Bar. So if that sounds good to you, great restaurant to check out right here in Port Canaveral. We decided to have our lunch at Gator's Dockside. Be our first time trying gator tail. I don't think you've ever had gator at all, have you, Megan? Um, I have had gator sticks before, like a Slim Jim type deal. I have not had gator like this before. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to dive in and taste these things and see what they taste like. Here goes our first taste of gator tail. Oh, it's me. Oh, uh huh. Mm. Said anything that's making me nervous. Try it. Pretty good. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Yep. Pretty good stuff. Oh, what? Who, me? Yes, you. Ah, more. No, no. All right, Megan, what did you get today? I got the blackened shrimp tacos. And there is a cabbage slaw underneath of that pico de gallo. And of course my chips and pico de gallo on the side. I'm excited. This looks really good. And I do see some avocado in there too. <laughs> yeah. Yummy looking. All right, so I got wings. Uh, these are boneless wings. And it's in the uh, gator's hot sauce. So I haven't tried it yet, but I got coleslaw, some fries, and ranch dressing to go along with it. So I think I should try this first one, right? Yes, most definitely. All right, let's, let's do it. A little easier for you to taste that than for me to do the tacos. Yeah. Mmm, good hot sauce. Sacrilege. All right, my mouth is salivating just watching you eat that, so. Wow, that's good. That is good? Mm-hmm. Awesome. There we go. Let's see what we can do. I, I don't know how I'm going to do this without causing a mess.
That's crazy. That's really cool. Well, we just finished a fantastic meal here at Gators Dockside right here in Port Canaveral. Yes. Highly recommend this place if you want to be able to see some cruise ships and uh, just SpaceX Great. boats. <laughs> that was an unexpected uh, twist right there. I know. Seeing one of the ships coming in and carrying a capsule too. Yeah, man. Great place, great service, great food, great staff. I mean, yeah. wonderful people, took good care of us. Good location, free yeah. parking. Yeah, free parking. Uh, live music. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been enjoying some live music out on the patio. A little bit longer than we probably should have, but uh, yeah. <laughs> been great. Yeah, it's, So, it's highly been recommend this one. Very relaxing afternoon and just a uh, great place to hang out. So, and plus another great place to watch a launch from too. Yeah. How cool is this? We get to actually see the SpaceX ship called the Megan, of all funny things, to be ironic, um, coming back in from the scrub launch that they had today. And uh, it's supposed to go up tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get to see this ship go back out again and come back in with the, uh, the rocket booster. So, pretty cool.
oh hey guys this i hope you guys enjoyed the the video that we did here at port canaveral uh i know we enjoyed making it it's been a lot of fun and it's been so easy to get around in here uh, i just can't stress that enough how easy it is i mean it's very very user friendly yes and it's uh, so so set up perfect so if you guys really enjoyed this video please do us a favor subscribe to our channel hit that bell notification button and like our videos and do me a favor watch all the way to the end because you never know when we're going to put stupid bloopers at the end which i think this one's definitely going to have one because we've had a couple <laughs> just a few yeah so as always are you guys ready for your next bone crazy adventure because we're ready to get you on one of these beautiful ships yes we are and time for us to go see the pelicans yeah let's go